If you want the game to run smoothly, you gotta smoothly animate the run. Time to talk animation. So this is a AQ World Infinity design post that we are going to be checking out covering some of the stuff regarding AQ World Infinity, including some upcoming mini tech demos. This week we started expanding the team working on animation on AQ Worlds Infinity. The strategy is double good. We're bringing in team members from our other games. We certainly could use the help. Also, by training them on this new way of animating, we are also preparing them for converting our other games after Infinity launches. During the last tech demo, there was a lot of comments about the run. So, Ghost reanimated the run, matching it exactly frame by frame. The original AQ Worlds was animated at 24 frames per second. The new game runs at 60 frames per second, so do the animations. From the perspective of an old school anime fan, all those extra frames take away from the art form instead of amplifying it. It'll be smoother. After seeing the frame by frame exactly matched version, as seen above, both Ghost and Nalgath felt the character needs a little more pop. The philosophy of this recreation is to make everything feel same and a little bit better, so they added a little pop to the run. The second thing we missed in the last tech demo was idle animations. Nalgath had animated a new idol for the Red Dragon just before the release, but it was only applied to the classic art version, not the new one. Also shocked us to realize that the Draconians didn't have their idol animations either. The crew's been working on that and also adding downward wings so the dragon could fly when it moves. Oh, that's interesting. The Gruglurk of Blood Rut keep has been animated. The new animations look great, but then Lodrian started experimenting with new shaders. And it looks wicked. We need to do some tests to make sure that these will work smoothly on mobile. On the topic of mobile, Warlock has been working on a cloud builder which needs to be finished because we can do the next Android build. That is going to be really really cool this animation has soul because you know ghosts another side project you might be interested in learning about is project omni the image above is not dungeons and doom knights i mean it's using the art but it's actually an example unity scene using the new project omni tools omni is a set of tools to help rapidly convert our older games from dragon fable to robin's hunt into modern cross-platform games. It'll also allow us to add mini games to Adventure Quest Worlds Infinity. Two former programmers return to help build the system. This is something I've been talking about for a very long time, but after Pizza Portals by NES Game Jam entry win best game, it hit me hard how I had developed all of these reusable 6502 assembly language skills, sorry, scripts, in my free time but had never done that with unity so at the place that i feel was very special i created a clear vision for it and committed to making it happen fast these tools make the game development of rpgs platformers top down games idle games point and click adventures and other mini game experiences real fast it is not good for multiplayer things unless we're talking about aq world style mini games it'll be really good for that We've already made a large number of the improvements from the last test. Next week, we need to do a number of mini tests. But past that, we need a larger pool of testers and also to move testing onto Steam where the game will auto-update. So you don't need to download the client every time we update it. Which means it is probably time to do that Kickstarter. We'll make the final decision on that based on next week's mini tests. And that would be this week that these mini tests i'm assuming that these because this was this design notes was posted on friday june 21st so that would be this week is what he's talking about doing a some more mini tests some more mini tech demos to kind of get the game where they want it where they can then launch a kickstarter it's really cool that they're going in the direction that the players want but it shows just how crucial our feedback is. But that is it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and keep those swords swinging.